Wow. Man, these things are good. Yeah. I wonder mm. what's in these things. Here you go. Color. Titanium dioxide? What's that? Whoa. Are you sure we gotta be eating this? This sounds like something you put in a bomb. <laughs> it does sound dangerous. Yeah. Guys, 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 come on. It's not dangerous at all. Titanium dioxide is actually a pretty common color additive. Do you guys want to know more about it? Yeah, yes. sure. Sure. All right then, let's go. Welcome to the world of food science. Like my friends, are you also intimidated by the ingredient titanium dioxide? Well, don't be. I'll tell you why. Titanium dioxide is the brightest white pigment that exists in nature and has been in use in the food industry for over 100 years. It is most commonly used as a color additive in foods such as cake icings, ice creams, donuts, and chewing gums. Did you know that titanium is the ninth most abundant element found in the Earth's crust even before the commonly known hydrogen? Shocking, right? Titanium also naturally occurs in trace amounts in animals, plants, soil, and other natural water bodies. But for commercial purposes, it is mainly sourced from its mineral ores, ilmenite, rutile, and anatase. Just like the commonly known copper, iron, and zinc that are also sourced from their mineral ores and naturally exist in the form of oxides, titanium is also usually bonded with two oxygen atoms due to its high affinity for oxygen, and hence the name titanium dioxide. One titanium, two oxygen atoms, all naturally existing in nature. In order for titanium dioxide to be used in foods, it is extracted by two main processes, the chloride process and the sulfate process. The finished product is in the form of finely ground, food grade, white powder. What makes it so bright white then? Titanium dioxide has a pretty high refractive index. What's that? <laughs> Great question! That simply means that titanium dioxide reflects all wavelengths of light that fall on it and doesn't absorb any. Do you know why people avoid wearing black when sunny outside? That's because black absorbs all wavelengths of light and makes you hot. White, on the other hand, reflects all wavelengths of light. Similarly, titanium dioxide reflects visible light. And apart from the food industry, titanium dioxide is also a principal component in white paints that are used to mark dividing lanes on roads. And it can also be used in other colored paints to make them brighter and enhance its color, including your toothpaste. Titanium dioxide also scatters and absorbs UV radiation and is widely used in sunscreen lotions because of its non-toxicity on the skin. And that's why your sunscreen appears so bright white. Is it safe when used in foods? Just like anything in excess is harmful to your health, including your healthy multivitamins that you take or even water, titanium dioxide can be toxic to your health only when consumed in really large quantities. Also, titanium dioxide is poorly soluble and when consumed, does not get absorbed by your blood and gets easily passed out through your gastrointestinal tract. It is chemically non-reactive and non-toxic. Do they regulate it at all? Yes, they do. When it comes to its regulations, in the US, the FDA lists titanium dioxide as a color additive that's exempted from certification. Unlike other color additives that you may sometimes see on your food labels, like FDNC blue number one and two, red number 40, yellow number five, etc. Also, according to the Code of Federal Regulations, Title 21, Part 73, the FDA permits the use of titanium dioxide of no more than 1% by weight of the food. And that's more than enough for titanium dioxide to produce its magic and make the food look bright white and more appealing to you. You'd normally see titanium dioxide labeled on your food as titanium dioxide followed by for color in parentheses. However, in Europe, the labeling laws are slightly different. The European Food Safety Authority requires titanium dioxide to be labeled as the ingredient E171. Titanium dioxide also comes with some added benefits when added to food. It provides a nice smooth texture to foods and prevents food particles from sticking together and forming lumps. So it can also be used as an anti-caking agent. Wow, thanks Aldrin. I'm so glad you told us all about titanium dioxide. Now I can eat as many donuts as I want. Yeah. Well, 